chuta utataka nitakupa ma Hardship, 
and he could have saved himself. He refused to do it because he knew that there will come a people like you and I who will need every single bit of that card on the day of judgment. He said, I left it for that day when I stand before Allah. إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونصلي على الحبيب محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم. والله my brothers, I don't have time, you know. I haven't given this for justice, والله. But I'm sure you got a snippet of the love he had for you, صلى الله عليه وسلم. I ask you sincerely, sincerely, not in the town. I know in the town, Allah Akbar, we're all scholars. But in the how? Do you love your Prophet like he loved you? Do you think about your Prophet like he used to think about you? Do you long to see him like he longs to see you? Proof. I don't want lip service. Allah doesn't look at the tongue, Allah looks at the heart. Do you, do you know his name? Do you know his surname, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Millions and millions of Muslims who claim that they're ready to die for Rasulullah. I'm ready to die for Rasulullah. That, 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 before you die, mashallah, come, come. I just want to ask you, what's his surname? Does he have a surname? What's the name of his brothers and sisters? Does he have brothers and sisters? What's the name of his father and mother? There's always a cowboy who tells me, hey, brother, I know the name of his mother. No, 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 you're missing the point. Do I know him? Do I know his life? Do I know his life? Do I know the names of his wives, the mothers of the believers, your mother? Imagine a child who doesn't know the name of his mom. People always ask, Ya Akhi, should I be seen with Dinya? Should I be seen? What's happening in the world? Wallahi, we are dying and we are confused and we can't. Wallahi, this is a clear dalil. This is a clear proof that you know nothing about your Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you understood the seerah, if you understood the life of Rasulullah, you would understand what is happening around the world. Every trial and every tribulation you will ever face in your life, you will find the answer and the solution in the seerah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But we know nothing about him. We know nothing about his life. We know nothing about his lineage. When was Salah revealed? When was fasting revealed? When did Allah, nothing, nothing, nothing. Yalla, ikhdeen al man qala la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah dakhal al-jannah. Ikhdeen al-hadith wa mishin fi al-ard. Alhamdulillah, ismi Ahmed, ismi Muhammad, eh? Wa azam al-raja. Khalas, wa shu sabab dakhtar min hai? I'm a Muslim, bro. Allah Akbar. What does it mean? I don't drink alcohol and I don't eat pork. My name's Ahmed. Really? This is your Islam? about him, Allah, the more you love him. Allah, Allah Azza wa Jalla, Qur'an, Qur'an, Ya Allah, Qur'an, not my opinion. I'm not telling you what Shaykh Abu Tanki reckons. Qur'an, Ya Allah, Qur'an. In kuntum tuhibbun Allah, if you claim, if you reckon, if you think that you love Allah, in kuntum tuhibbun Allah, fattabi'uni, then follow Muhammad. Follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today we don't follow, we question everything. Brother, did you really have a beard? Do I really need to grow my beard? Akhi, do I really need to wear this? Do I really need to pray here? Do I really need to do this? Allahu Akbar, everything we question. I asked one of the Mashayikh, I said, what's the difference between us and Sahaba? He said, it's very simple. Sahaba performed every Sunnah because it was the Sunnah. We leave every Sunnah because it's only Sunnah. Then follow Rasulullah to the team. What will happen? Allah will love you in return and forgive your sins. Turn to your Prophet. Learn his seerah. Please, you have holidays now. Grab your son and your daughter and your wife. Seek Ya Allah for your sake, for the sake of Allah. Open the book. Learn his name, his wife, his daughters, his sons. Where did he go? Learn, teach it to your children. Bring it to life. Your son looks like Justin Bieber. He doesn't look like Muhammad. 
Battles going to vanish. Battles going to vanish. Really? Really? Is this the state we've reached? You owe it to yourself. He's your prophet. He says, I long to see you. Rasulullah wants to be with you. He made dua for you five times a day. He made dua for you. Allah, I mean, what dear, what dear if we learned about him? Allah, it's not much. Please, my brothers and sisters, learn the seerah of your Prophet. Bring his life into your life and you will see true success. And inshallah, last reminder, the brother made a very important announcement about the Salah times. Don't take this issue lightly, please. Don't take the issue lightly. Make sure your calendar is correct. It's according to the, it's according to what you know, all the big mosques have agreed upon. Because you could be fasting early, breaking your fast early, and this is obviously a calamity. نسأل الله عز وجل أن يغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء والأموات ويعسف الله عز وجل to forgive us to unite us with محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم to bring his life into our life we ask him سبحانه وتعالى to make us from his companions in فردوس الأعلى we ask him to make us of those who never enter the hellfire never see the hellfire never smell the hellfire never hear the hellfire we ask him سبحانه وتعالى to give victory to the believers wherever they're struggling wherever they're cold wherever they're suffering oh Allah be with them protect them and give them reunite us on the day of judgment and we pray for the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam subhanahu wa ta'ala and we pray for you 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 interesting video in this video we are reminded of the love Muhammad had for everyone the people around him the people that he came across and just everyone in general and how much he loved and respected God and how in turn had faith in whatever uh, God said by through the revelation of the Quran at the end of the day not only should you admire his characteristics if you want to be like him maybe start practicing to improve your faith like him not that he wasn't tried every, and once in his life twice three times a hundred times he also faced some difficulties but then that's life always seek to have a convers a, a good relationship with god and that's what's most important don't put worldly things ahead of everything let me know what you guys actually think what you have to say what are your contributions feel free to comment and the story of muhammad is actually one of my favorite really love it i enjoy listening about him even if it's different narrators same story i just enjoy it let me know what you guys think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video